Hey Dan, what are you doing? Oh, hey Mary, I was just downloading a great video podcast that I want to show to a group of people in one of the conference rooms. Oh, wow. Well, how are you going to do that? Well, I could take my computer in there. Yeah, um, that's but so 2005. It is. It's, it's great, but it's, it's, it's kind of old school. So what I thought I would do is I would use the iPod and put the video from the po video podcast on the iPod and then just gather everybody around this little screen and we could share the <laughs> headphones to, uh, to look at it. Hmm, that could work, but I have a better idea. Really? What's your idea, Mary? How about if you plug into a projector? Well, that's a, that's a great idea because, you know, because I was part of that iPod initiative, I have this great cable that plugs into my iPod and will plug into a TV or, um, or projector. So mm. I just have to... Um, I just have to sync it up here. So let's sync it up. I'm All gonna, right. I'm going to take out my USB cord. And we'll plug that in. And I'm going to plug it into, oops, plug it into the computer. And so now I'm going to look at, at my... podcasts for this one and one of them I want to get is my is the TED Talks um, that's the video that I want to that's the video that I want to pull onto my iPod so I'm going to sync that up by hitting apply okay all right looks like it's done so um, now I'm going to eject the iPod and it disappeared on the screen and my screen came back here so now I can unplug it I'm going to put it in the turn it off and put it in its handy little case these are sweet little cases and of course I need to take my little AV cord with me so let me wind that up and now through the magic of film I'm going to reappear in the conference room Oh, you're over there. Uh, okay, so here I am in the conference room, and I just have to, the projector's up there. Um, so all I'm going to do is I need to connect the iPod up, my, the iPod end is pretty obvious, and then there are actually two strands of cords here. The one end um, is for audio and video. There are three plugs. Okay. And we can use this USB end to plug into power. So if you're showing a longer video, you don't have to even worry about your iPod having enough charge to make it through because it'll charge it as, it as you're playing it. So now what I need to do is I need to plug it into this projector up here. So I'm going to... No, 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 Dan, you can't, no. To the, to the table, that's where the plug is. Yeah, no, right. these tables can break. Okay, so no, you can't. But I've got to plug it into the... I, I don't know what to tell you, but no. Mary, sometimes I feel like you stifle. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to come up with a different route. So let's head over here to this scary, robotic-looking piece of hardware over here. Well, I don't know what most of this stuff is. What? And I don't need to know what most of this stuff is, but I, I do know that this is a VCR. And I generally understand VCRs. And I know this is how I control what's happening in the room, pulling down the projector and so forth. So I'm going to pull out this handy and convenient little countertop to set my iPod on. And conveniently enough, on the front of the VCR, we have a place for video, which is the yellow. I'm going to plug that in. And the audio is red and white. It doesn't matter which one you put in which. I'm going to plug in the uh, power down here. Okay, so now I'm powered up. It's charging. Now I need to get, of course, the um, projector turned on.
and I'm going to choose the VCR to play. Okay, so now we have it we have it plugged in, but what we need to do is make sure that um, everything's turned on. We of course have our projector turned on, and, and I and I've turned on the VCR as the input for the projector. And you can see it's on, but it's showing channel two. With this plugged in, though, I can change the channels on the VCR. Ready? Mm -hmm. And you can see that it's changing down here. I change it down to F. One. And now, with it on F1, I'm going to go to my videos on the iPod. And I'm going to double check on my settings, video settings. Because I want the TV out to be turned on. In other words, I want it to, I want it to understand that I'm going to be playing not through this screen, but playing through the output, through the projector. So with that set, let me go back to my video podcast, and I have some of the TED Talks on here, and here's something from Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Negropont, and we'll play, and if I did it right, I should see it on the screen, not on here, but on the screen on the projector. Now I can see it but I can't hear it. So I'm going to try to turn it up using the, just how I normally would with the iPod. I can adjust the volume by going around the, the outside. Well that's not making a difference at all. So maybe it's that the volume is turned down in the speakers in the room. So let me try those. With my audio turned up to a reasonable level, I'll hold down volume up. Say, uh, illustrate this at least in the, as best I can in the world of entertainment. So uh, there you have it. So we can hear it, we can see it, I can show the videos. And one more thing I want to show you is that you can fast forward through these videos. And this is one of the really handy things. Other than the idea that you could have hours and hours of video um, stored in your iPod, you can also jump to any part of it. And if you remember back to the days of ECRs, that's a real hassle getting right to the spot you're looking for, or even on DVDs, you're having to forward and, and not being really sure you have the control you need. Now watch what happens here. Normally I turn my volume by moving around the outside, but if I click again, so I have two clicks, I have a diamond there, and I can use move that diamond along the timeline for the movie by just moving around the circle. So I'm jumping, I want to jump right to 4 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm right there. And I click the middle button, and I'm there. Approximates thinking about thinking, but teaching kids. Wow, Dan, that was great. I know, and I didn't even have to stand on the table. So uh, when I'm done, all you have to do is unplug. Of course, carefully unplug from the VCR. And I'm going to turn off my projector. and put all my stuff back in my handy little bag. Great. So that's it. You can present uh, from your iPod in the comments. All right. Thanks, Dan.